investigating a series of 22 home robberies. All have occurred since late April. The latest one happened just last night. The thief or thieves are committing their crimes between 2 and 6 in the morning. Victims are upset. Police have no suspects. Case of Wise Brian Allen shows us how the thieves are breaking in. Uh, officer said he is not. Jordan and Linda Turner have lived on Sioux Falls' northwest side since 1965 and never had problems with criminals. When they came home Tuesday, the back door was open. But we didn't think anything about it because that door blows open sometimes. Everything was fine until George started mowing the lawn. And he found this bag and the contents all spread out between the sheds over there. The bag was Linda's. It had been inside. The Turners believe a thief thought it was a purse, found only sewing needles and thread, and threw it away. Police say that's how thieves work. They look in the window and they'll see a purse or a wallet or something laying on a dining room table. They'll go in um, while people are home sleeping and take these items. How are the thieves getting in? People aren't locking their doors. Now, any doorway that you use to get into your home, a thief could use as well. And you have to make sure they're all locked. This patio door, for example. Make sure on the main door that you have a stick in the track so the door can't be opened. And as for the outer screen door, you have to make sure that it's locked as well. Plant trees under windows and surround them with rock. Thieves don't like to walk on anything that makes noise. The Turners say nothing else was missing, but they do say they have to change the laid-back, worry-free lifestyle they'd been accustomed to. Maybe we should keep our house locked better. <laughs> Brian Allen, Dakota First News, Sioux Falls. Uh, let's, let's go to Brian. Brian, what do you got? Uh, good evening, Aaron. We're on the southwest side again playing that same old song. I don't know if you can hear the tornado sirens going off in the background. The reason I called in, Aaron, is we've got low hangers again on the southwest side, and I'm not going to go out on a limb and call them uh, funnel clouds, but it's just that ragged edge that we've come to, to know and watch for when we've been, you know, in severe weather situations.